Hey guys, welcome back to another Ray video. In today's video, I want to do some interesting champion showcase. I'm going to do a showcase for one of the uh, Void legendary in the game, High Elf. One, one of the coolest looking champion in the game, Ethos. All right, and I think this champion um, was added to the game a long time ago, a very, very old school champion. And I remember I um, I heard Hell Hades once said this was his favorite champion. So yeah, Hell Hades' favorite champion in the game, right? Ethos, a pure damage dealer, right? Three damage dealing skill with two of them being AOE, right? And the A3 here, this is very interesting. This is always going to be critical. Uh, but one problem he's always has is that his multiplier is not there, all right? His multiplier is not even top five in the game in terms of in terms of raw damage dealing AOE skill. It's not even top five. But you know what? We got some interesting stuff to showcase in this video because on my account, I have a plus four ethos, all right? I think I got that ethos um, from the last Void 2x. Actually, uh, let's first take a look at their multiplier on uh, Ayumi Love. Let me pull it up. So this is a Yumi Love. Um, this is our boy Ethos here, the protagonist of this video. As you guys can see, like the A2 and A3, on um, the damage multiplier is not there. Like the A3 is 4.4 attack, uh, with book value of 25% increase. And if I pull up Tronda here, this is Tronda, a very very famous nuker. And if we take a look at his A, uh, her A3, right? This is three attack multiplier with a double hit. So this is a six attack multiplier with 30% damage increase after book. So I think these two skills are not remotely close. Like this is literally like 40% more damage compared to Ethos A3. But you know what? Since he's uh, on his skill kit, there is a uh, on his A3, it's always gonna be critical. So I'm gonna do some interesting stuff in this video. I'm gonna build my Ethos with absolutely no crit rate. I'm gonna push my crit damage to be as high as possible. All right, and I have a plus four ethos. Still, it might not make up the difference uh, uh, caused by his multiplier, right? But we're gonna find out in this video. Let me show you guys my ethos gear, all right? Boom here, right here, look at this. Ethos gear in Savage and Cruel with 30% ignore defense. And look at this, 8.3 thousand attack with 352% crit damage, right? He still has 40% crit rate because uh, I still have some crit rate stats from the gear. I'm not like completely avoiding these, right? I just don't care about it. I'm, I'm trying to find the gear that has the most crit damage and attack, all right? So yeah, and I get 10% crit rate from the empowerment. So here we are, 352% crit damage in a savage and cruel set. We're gonna find out how hard he's gonna hit, all right, in terms of mastery. Just gonna go with offense tree and support tree, going with Helm Smasher. All right, so let's find out. Actually, like, people always use Ethos in can, uh, in a, for food farming, right? Let's see if he can still do it with this type of gear because he has no crit rate. So let's take a look. I'm just kind of curious to see if he can still do it. All right, obviously that one didn't crit. All right, this one's gonna be a one shot. Oh, he doesn't prioritize his A3. That might be a thing, all right? A3 is obviously a one shot because I'm gonna use him mostly for his A3, all right? So actually let's do another uh, interesting thing. I want to compare his damage directly to my Tronda, to my baseline Tronda. I have a baseline Tronda on my account. Look at this. I think this is pretty much a trash gear, right? In a savage set alone, right? and two pieces of broken set with 6.9 thousand attack and 257 crit damage. My ethos literally has 100% more crit damage than this Tronda and 1.3k attack higher than this Tronda. But let's find out in one of the Doom Tower stage to see their damage difference. I'm just gonna pick a random stage. All right, let's do this one. Uh, this one should be fine. Let's see. Uh, I'm gonna use my Arbiter and Lydia. Where's my Lydia and Ethos and Tronda? All right. Let's see their damage. Let's see their damage. All right. A plus four Ethos geared in insane gear. 
and the random Tronda baseline. Look at this damage. Wait, I didn't quite catch that. I think it's 160,000 to 200,000. It's a single hit. All right, so let's try it again. Let's try it again using my Tronda. I, I don't have to use Ethos. Ethos was 160,000 to 200,000. Let's take a look. I'm gonna use Tronda's A3 here. Let's see. <laughs> so I'm seeing like 100,000 per hit, something like that, right? <laughs> so I think with the Ethos gear that way, his A3 is similar to Tronda's A3 damage. Anyways, we're gonna go into Arena and test out this champion anyways, alright? I'm gonna go in like this because they have a CV. What I'm gonna do is I will have to use a Necrit, right? Otherwise, they're just gonna... The CV is just gonna sleep me if I don't use Necrit, am I right? Or, or actually, let's try this. Let, let's try our brand new champion, alright? Our most popular brand new champion. Ultimate Death Knight. Let, let's take a look at this. Let's see if it works. I'm gonna go first. Put their skill cooldown. And they are not gonna cause any damage to me. And I'm gonna do A3. Rotos is gonna get extra turn, but that's fine. I will take no damage. And that will be it. Okay. <laughs> so that's the team. Alright. Pretty decent damage. In terms of a plus four ethos, alright. So this one is gonna be scary. Uh, probably not. I don't think I, I will be able to do it, but let's give it a try. Alright, let's give it a try. Maybe we can do it with an ethos. Let's give it a try. Alright, very fast, Yumiko. Let me put their skill cooldown first. Let me do a strip, and I'm gonna do a three. Can I one shot? Half rock here. No! Okay. So I guess that will be it if I'm unable to one shot the half rock. Come on. I need to kill this half rock. Otherwise, I will just gonna get one shot. Alright, maybe I can win this, but it's uh it's gonna be a long fight. Alright, it's gonna be a long fight. I got, I'll have to revive my ethos. I'm gonna target his duchess here. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Alright, I think I can win this. I just constantly put their skill cooldown. Alright, and I'm gonna revive myself. And I'm gonna target Duchess. Come on, come on, let me get a turn. Don't kill my Ethos yet. No! Okay, so I think I'm gonna quit. I can, I can definitely win this. It's just uh, I don't want to stick in there for like more than three minutes. Alright, let's try other teams here. Let's let's just try the speed team first. Alright, this is uh, another similar defense, but this is uh, I think it's much easier one because this team doesn't have empowerment. Wow, look at this arbiter skin. Is that like the fifty dollar one? I don't even know. Alright, this has to be a one shot. Has to be a one shot. Alright, boom. <laughs> look at that. Okay, so that's a fun one. Let's try something else here. We're gonna get into uh, those tanky and slow team. Right, we will see what happens. Let's put their skill cooldown. Strip them. And I'm gonna do the nuke. Alright, that's a clean one shot. Look at that. Alright. I think his A2 is not gonna do that much damage because I don't have him in full crit rate. His A1 hits really, really hard. All right, so let's see. All right, let's just um try this team. All right, let's give this team a try. I usually, I will, I will go in there with a Leoras team because they have a Mortimer Cap. Mortimer Cap can be quite scary sometimes. All right, but let's see if I'm lucky or not. All right, I don't want him to proc his passive. Wow, stone skin. All right, all right, all right. All right, that's cool. Wait, my necro is not protecting it though. That's so dumb. All right, strip them. Okay, I got lucky here. Got lucky here. This is gonna be a one shot. Boom! Look at that. Duchess got deleted, and I'm gonna kill the mortal. And now it's uh, Ursula left. 
it's gonna be super annoying in a stone skin set there's nothing i can do just have to wait for him to get a turn then i can do something else okay so come on and i did not quit all right that's expected got the attack up actually one good thing for not building Ethos as low as HP is I think Mortal Macab, if he's passive proc, he's gonna target whoever has the lowest HP, right? So it's not gonna be Ethos. That's how I feel. We can try something else here. Let's try this Leoras team. Right, with same team setup. This is a gold second team I use the most of the time. I right. <laughs> again I don't have protection on Ethos. Alright, let's let's put it up. Damn, that's a slow Mithrala. That's gonna be so annoying. Alright, can I get a turn? No. Alright, that will be it. I can't do anything here. That's a slow Mithrala. No damage. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. I don't think I can win this one. The slow Mithrala right now is so hard to deal with. It's just so annoying. I didn't crit again. Okay. Let's see the A3. Not gonna be enough. And I will get one shot. So yeah, the slow Mithrala is just so annoying nowadays. Let's see if there's any other interesting team we can try. Alright, so wow, the ultimate death knight dude here. Let's try the uh, the, the Cupidus team. Alright, let's give Cupidus team a try. I have to go first. Alright, this is a protected Cupidus. That's gonna be annoying. Alright, he removed my buff and put weaker on me. Damn, I'm gonna get one shot here. No, my Necro got one shot. Let me get a turn. Alright, that was clutch. And come on, don't kill me yet. Maybe I can still win this. Alright. That was clutch. That ethos one shot. Alright. Let's see. Let's do one more. Alright. This is this is probably gonna be a one of the easier ones because they don't really have a damage and they don't really have any like annoying champion. Right? So this team doesn't really have a threat. It's just a, a stall team. Maybe can be used uh, to slow people down. But it's just uh, overall not a good defense. Alright, so let's see. This is gonna be a one shot here. Alright, swift parry. Fine. Fine. And the revive, come on. Just Mithrala left. Let's get rid of them. And that is the win. Alright, so I, th I think that's gonna be enough for the showcase. Alright, I think overall you guys can see, like, even build him this way. In terms of pure damage, it's probably still gonna go with uh, Tronda. Like, his damage multiplier is not there. Like Even if you just completely give up on the crit rate and you just push for the pure crit damage uh, crit damage and the attack build, I just feel like still he's missing something, right? Like, if I'm using like even uh, less empowered Leoras, Leoras just offers much much more and I really hope Plarium can buff him even a little bit because he is one of the most uh, coolest looking champion in the game, right? And he is a very old champion and a lot of people got him. I right? have one of the oldest Void Legendary in the game and his review is so good. And plus, plus the the most important reason that Plarium should buff him is that he is Hell Hades' favorite champion, right? Plarium need to care for their biggest content creator. So come on Plarium, just buff this champion. I would love them to buff this champion, all right? And I think like this type of pure damage leader in the game, like at least they need to be stronger than like other like not pure damage dealers, right? So yeah, that's gonna be it. Uh, after the showcase, I'm probably gonna switch the uh, switch his gear back because I did strip a lot of good pieces from my other champion. So. Yeah, that's gonna be, uh, this is just an interesting showcase. I don't recommend anyone to copy this build. So yeah, that's it for this video, and I will see you guys in a video soon.